and welcome to the Metro Plus show. The IPL fever is on, so we thought why not bring you a story which is not only IPL centric but also Chennai centric, meaning it has all the elements of Chennai in it. That is a big story on this particular episode of the Metro Plus show and all the stories have been brought to you from your favorite magazine supplement, the Hindu Metro Plus. IPL, when it started three editions ago, it took cricket by a completely different meaning. Cheerleaders, fantastic fast-paced cricket game and more importantly, every franchisee having its own theme song. India was suddenly divided into so many cricketing loyalties and every franchisee had a special theme song to itself. But the top on the charts was Chennai's Whistle Polo. So this time, after three editions of IPL, the Metro Plus team took to the streets to find out who came up with Whistle Polo. Ready? Three years ago, this group of creative minds got together to compose an IPL theme song for the Chennai Super Kings. Amidst the drumming and the strumming, the search was to find elements for the song specific to Nama Chennai, something that an average Chennai would instantly relate to and the answer was the whistle. It's, it all started uh, the second season. Uh, second season when the event was shifted to South Africa. So that time we thought, okay, how do we engage the fans in some interesting way? And so one of the ideas was, can we create a chant that can become popular? Uh, Maddie was one of the photographers we were working with at the time for the campaign. And we teamed up with him and then uh, we met uh, Arvind and Jashankar with music. And we were discussing with them what can we do. And so that time we thought, uh, can we keep it kutu, can we keep it uh, local flavor and uh, this thing. And one of the ideas was busy. That's when the song was written, DJ Ravi crooned to the kutu beats and Whistle Podu was born. The next challenge was to make a viral video of the song. The Whistle Podu team took to the streets, capturing the rising sun on the beaches, street cricket, the Bharatanatyam mudras and early morning columns. See, once the video was done, we had uploaded it onto YouTube and uh, slowly we started getting hits. A few days after the video was uploaded, uh, we got a comment saying, look, we're from Channel V and we would like to speak to someone who's uh, been in charge of it, we'd like to air it. We initially thought it was a practical joke, but then once we actually found out uh, that it was true and then we desperately sent the beta tape across, and uh, by which time I think the number of hits was going on uh, quite rapidly. By the second year we actually managed to get more players on board and uh, I think that's when it actually took off. Now we have over 5 lakh hits across the two videos and uh, several variations which the fans have uploaded. But the trick was to make the average Chennai whistle to their tune and they succeeded from Ottawalas, Namauru Mamis to cricketers and off the record even cops, everyone was dancing to the beat. They set out with a handicam, climbed walls, snuck inside buses and soon it was for all to see. If I say Chennai, what, what will you remember? Like Merna Beach, Tikada, Bajji. Uh, Barota, uh, whatever stuff, all the stuff, bus and everything. So we are supposed to go to all these places and whoever is available there, make them do this step. And initially nobody was ready. Like suddenly imagine, suddenly go to a crowd and say, hey, boss come and do this, nobody will do it. <laughs> so we need to do that first and then make them do it. The one fun thing was uh, suddenly the lead actor disappeared. And when we were searching, he suddenly waving from the bus, which was actually on the way to museum, theatre or wherever. And uh, he's saying, that time only we were discussing, we should shoot inside a bus. He's already onto a bus, moving bus, and we had to run behind and then get with the camera, with the camera and everybody, everybody were chasing the uh, bus and then we were ready to shoot. So that was really fun. 
Today, the two versions of Whistle Podu on YouTube have 5 lakh hits between them. Additions have been made to the original version on occasions, biggest of them being including the intro whistle by none other than Dhoni, which makes an interesting anecdote unto itself. We wanted to rope in Dhoni. And so we'd shot everyone else in, a, in, in Park Sharon and other places. We were just waiting to chase down Dhoni. And after a few days, you know, in an evening session, after he finished practice, we got him. And the best part was, he had finished practice, so his hands were very dry. So he, he came and said, okay, we told him, you don't have to whistle, we'll keep some standby and you just do the action. He said, no, no, I can do it. And the man could really, really whistle and he tried a few options different options and because his hands were very dry he slurped before whistling and we basically kept it because I you know I caught the sound and I thought it's a good way to open the the whole uh, video and talking of offshoots the next famous fan viral video for CSK that's making a buzz is six portal a group of former SRM students have made the transition from drumming on textbooks to creating this your attention please Although it seems otherwise, but the creators maintain that the similarity with Whistle Poru ends with the similarity in their titles. You can call it an inspiration, but again, it's not really an inspiration because uh, Six Poru, uh, uh, except for the name, it's nowhere close to um, uh, Whistle Poru again. Uh, we thought. Uh, uh, Chennai Supreme is like the other uh, teams in the IPL. It, it, it doesn't really have an actual anthem to it. Um, uh, Whistleport is just a montage collection of a uh, lot of uh, uh, players coming and whistling. But uh, Sixport is like an actual anthem where, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's an actual anthem. Like Whistleport, this team also put in appreciative efforts in including Chennai specific elements. Venkateshwara Boli stall, cricket on the beach, and a beautiful blend of the Peter Rap style of rapping and Kutu feature in this version. I think of Chennai, it's got to be uh, the grounds. You know, the, you can see the grounds filled on Sundays. And then uh, there's the coffee. Then you have the Venkateshwara Boli stall, which is uh, something which everyone relates to. So we just add a lot of the elements in the video because this is basically what Chennai is all about. And then obviously Rajinikanth is a major part of Chennai so we just added in the video as well. So basically all these make Chennai what it is. And like Whistle Ford had the whistle as a USP, we had something like the uh, six foot step. Just, uh, which is like, uh, I think it's, it's a wild rage right now. So uh, it's basically like an amalgamation of uh, the, the Billy Burden way of saying six and the uh, very popular Hussein Bolt celebration dance. While they are upbeat about the success of Six Poru, the Whistle Poru team is unfazed by such competition. In fact, they believe in the more the merrier, as this only means that CSK will have more people crooning, whistling and screaming in their support than any other team in the IPL. When we started this, we didn't want to do an official commercial. We just wanted to do a viral video. So in that sense, the fact that it's taken off from YouTube, from videos from New Zealand and South Africa and people putting in there and then also doing dedication videos like a lot of the, the new ones. We're just happy that the, the concept has taken off. Chennai Super Kings ka Whistle Pod. Whistle Pod, Six Pod, there are finally so many fan viral videos on YouTube. Well, it's always interesting to find out the people behind these famous songs. Talking about songs and the people behind it, you cannot not talk about Madan Karki. We take a small break here. When we come back, we find out what is so special about Madan Karki's lyrics. Music